What's up, motherfucking motherfuckers? In today's motherfucking review, we're gonna review CT motherfucking Fletcher's motherfucking master fucking plan. The fucking foundation. That's the actual name. Part one, chest. Yeah, so I'm gonna be reviewing CT Fletcher's uh, newest program, the master plan. And we're gonna start off with part one, chest, which is all about benching, even though the name is chest. So if you've been living under a rock and you somehow don't know who CT Fletcher is, well, he's one of the most popular YouTube fitness personalities out there today. He's really uh, famous, I guess, for both his immense strength and his great physique, but also for being extremely profane and very intense. Anybody who's even seen one of his videos will know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, it's interesting to review this guy's program because he is one of the strongest dudes of all time who claims to be natural. I mean, he's benched over 650 pounds. He ha I think he still has the all-time record in the curl. So he's a really strong guy. He's got great credentials. And you know what? It's worth taking a look at what he's got to say about programming the bench press. I mean, the dude did bench 650. So as per usual in our programming review series, we're going to start off by taking a look at the actual program itself. All right, guys, as you can see, the workout here consists of seven, eight exercises. I left off a few of the warm-up uh, shoulder cuff type stuff that he has in there. But the first thing that you're going to do, the first major exercise, is the paused bench press. Now, CT gives you an extensive warm-up, but mostly it just involves lifting light percentages for 8 to 10 reps on the way up. So your top sets for the day are going to include a double at 91% and then three singles. Now, as you get closer to the meet, CT says that these singles should be heavier and heavier. There's no other programming suggested, so I just assume that you're working up to 100%. Now, after that, you move on to board press, and you're going to start with a four board press for one month, then three board the next month, then two board the next month, and then finally one board. You're going to go over your max by, you know, 101%, 102%, 103%, and you're going to do a single at each one of those weights. The next exercise that you do is floor press, and again, this is as a percentage of your normal bench. You're going to do five ramped up triples. After four press, you move on to incline bench, in which you're going to do sets of five to six. And again, these percentages are, are of your normal bench. And you're going to work up to a very heavy max single or double as your top set. Now on dips, you're going to do five sets of 10 across, and these should be heavy. CT says that you should be struggling on the final reps of each set. After that, you do DB flat bench, and what you're going to do here is five ramp sets. So you might go 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, or something like that. At least that's what CT had in his book. Obviously, you're going to have to adjust that to weights that you can actually do. You're going to finally finish it off with some cable crossovers, bodybuilding style, to get a good pump for your chest. As far as planning goes, this program actually is, doesn't have any planning because it's not a program. It's a snapshot of one workout from one week of CT's training. So even though it's sold as a program, it's really not. And it doesn't help you peak for me or anything like that because, again, it's just one workout. Okay, in terms of periodization, same thing. If you're only going to give somebody one workout from one week of your training, and it's not even like it has percentages or anything. It, it literally just tells you the weights and reps that CT did on this one workout from his training history. You can't have periodization with that because periodization entails, you know, long-term planning. Uh, it entails the organization of a training cycle. And if we're just talking about one workout, there's no such thing as periodization. As per usual, I'm going to sound like a broken record and tell you that in terms of programming, because our definition of programming here at Powerlifting to Win is variation in terms of intensity and volume from week to week, and you can read more about that in the Programming to Win ebook, this doesn't really contain much programming because, again, it's just one workout. Now, what we can say is that the intensity is very high on this program. You're always doing singles on the pause bench. And in fact, you're going above 90% on three different movements. On board presses, you're even going above 100%. So this is definitely a program that's very, very intense in terms of the percentages of your one rep max. Now the volume might look a little bit intimidating, but I think that's mostly due to the overall number of movements that are in the program. Most of these movements uh, that you're doing with a barbell in your hands is really not that much volume. I mean, sure, you're doing a lot of reps as you're warming up, but most of the volume on this program actually comes from the 5x10 dB bench and the 5x10 dips. 
it's not that much volume on the main movements at all because you're mostly just doing singles. Now in actuality, you can't really criticize this program too much for specificity. Most of the movements that you're doing are quite relevant to powerlifting style benching. I mean, most of the movements themselves are in fact bench press variants with a barbell on your hands. Now you are doing some things like dips and DB bench, but as far as the uh, specific to general continuum goes, those things are pretty close in terms of you know at least training your upper body, which will have some transference to the bench press. Additionally, you are going pretty heavy here so it is quite applicable and relevant to powerlifting, which is a max strength sport. Now, on the other hand, you would like to see more volume coming from barbell movements on this program. As I mentioned earlier, most of the volume is from dips and DB bench. And while again, those are great general movements, we would like to see most of our volume on any program coming from the competition movement itself or close variations of the competition movement. And because this program only features singles for the most part on the competition movement, you're just not getting very much volume on the actual bench press itself. Now, in terms of overload, things get pretty funky here because again, overload usually comes in the context of multi-week programming. But even though this is called a program, it's really not, it's just one workout. So. In terms of the overload, the only thing we can do is really speculate as to what CT wants you to do. There's one line in the whole book, which is 14 pages long and mostly pictures, that says, as you get closer to the meat, you should use heavier and heavier singles. So I guess what we have to take that to mean is that, you know, based on however many weeks you have until your meat, you should slowly add weight to those singles. CT doesn't tell us how we're doing that. Um, whether it's through auto regulation, whether it's through linear progression, we have no idea. So all we know is that we're using basic progressive overload here somehow by uh, using slightly heavier weights over time. Now, in terms of fatigue management, again, we have the same problem. This is just one workout. You don't manage fatigue in one workout. You manage fatigue across workouts, across weeks. So as far as I can say, this program has no fatigue management at all because it's not a program, it's a workout. It's like you would read Men's Health or something and it would say, here's a good bench press workout to try for your next time in the gym. This is an exercise, it's not even training because there is no program. Now, as is typical of pretty much every powerlifting program out there, CT basically just completely ignores individual differences. Most people actually don't need to be doing four board press or three board press. It's just completely useless for them. It's above their sticking point. It's even above the point where they lose acceleration and it doesn't transfer. So in terms of movement selection, no individual differences whatsoever. And of course, in terms of auto regulation, that's just too much to ask for most people. And you're not going to see auto regulation in almost any mainstream program. So that's not even a surprise in my opinion. But nonetheless, you have to point it out that this program completely ignores individual differences. In fact, the percentages that you saw when I was describing the program are not even given by CT. I wrote those so that you guys could see for yourselves what the program contains. CT in the book just tells you what weights he literally did. And it's clear that there was not a lot of thought going into it because the weights basically go 135, 225, 315, 405, 495. And for those of you from Europe or who use the metric system, that's basically just adding one plate at a time. So he's not even really using percentages at all. He's just putting weight on the bar and then lifting more. So there really is no semblance of programming. I just gave you guys percentages to give you an idea of how you might adapt it to your weights because CT doesn't give you a way to do that himself. Look, CT is an extremely strong guy and I have all the respect in the world for his abilities and his intensity. I mean, I truly admire that aspect of what he does. But this is the other side of both YouTube, the fitness industry, and CT, and that, that, that's that this book is just a complete sellout. I mean, you're paying $25 for one workout. It's not a program, it's not a system, it's one workout. It's 14 pages long, has an intro page, and a disclaimer page and pictures throughout the whole book. I'd venture to say there's maybe 300 words of text in the whole thing. You're paying $25 for a 14 page picture book in which you're not even getting a system or a program, but merely CT describes one workout that he did once upon a time. That's it. It's just ridiculous. I mean, can't these people put out actual value? I mean, I just put out a 100 page ebook that contains six different programs and a full system from how you advance from each one to the next that tells you how to run it with a meat, 
that, that gives you everything that you need to actually do the program from week to week, from month to month, and possibly even from year to year if you're a true beginner. On the other hand, you have guys like CT who are more experienced, have way more pull than a guy like me in the fitness community, and what does he decide to do? He decides to cash in and try to rip everybody off with this piece of garbage. Now, obviously, I'm known for a more serious style of reviewing, but if you guys want to know what I really think about this program, if you want to see a true masterpiece, then check out the review by the Trap Squatch, Elgin. I put a link to that for you guys, it's hilarious. Anyways, as always my friends, please like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out powerliftingtowin.com and of course, have a nice day my friends.